Welcome to Business Lifeguard TV. You're probably wondering about those three questions, so I won't keep you in suspense. The answers to those questions will put you on the road to gaining better control over the fate of your business. Question 1. What simple thing did one airline do so that it stayed profitable while most other airlines lost money? When fuel prices started to rise, Southwest Airlines used hedges to buy jet fuel at lower than market prices. Between 2004 and 2008, they saved millions of dollars and stayed profitable, while most other airlines lost money. The lesson here? Plan ahead. Planning ahead doesn't sound so hard, does it? So why do so many businesses get caught short? Who would you rather be? The one who planned ahead and got ahead, or the one who didn't? Question 2. How can a 50-person business cut its costs by $91,000 a year, and can larger businesses do it too? Most companies will be able to reduce the space they lease, along with the annual cost. According to OfficeFinder.com, the average worker requires about 85 square feet. With prime real estate costing upwards of $18 a square foot, allowing 10% of a 50-person office to telecommute could reduce lease costs by $91,000 a year. Can a larger business do it too? Sure. Using the same figures, if a 100-person business could send just 10 people home to telecommute, they could save $182,000 a year. And that's with only 10% of total employees. Any accountant will tell you that cutting expenses is vital to the health of a business. Telecommuting can save your business lots of money on a continuing basis and help you keep valued employees. Telecommuting could also improve employee morale, productivity, and health. Properly managed, telecommuting can be a real benefit to most businesses. Download our white paper from our website and learn more. Question 3. Even though New Orleans had a very complete disaster response plan, why didn't they follow it when Hurricane Katrina struck? Actually, they had a great disaster response plan that addressed every contingency. The problem was, the plan was in binders in the mayor's office and was unreachable due to flooding. One of the first things that Business Lifeguard advises is to put critical data online so that it can't get lost and can be accessed and used during an emergency. Let's recap. 1. Plan ahead. 2. Use telecommuting to save money and help your employees. 3. Put your critical data online. If you do just these three things, you'll be way more in charge of your circumstances than you are now, and you will be on the way to controlling the fate of your business. Business Lifeguard has even more to offer. If you want to learn more, download our white papers, read our blog, better yet, give us a call. If our lines are busy, please try back. Call us at 866 932 2587 extension 123. Thank you. Be sure to tune in again for more useful tips on Business Lifeguard TV. Goodbye now.